And if you most know, I wasn't even born in the United States. I came with, here, empty pockets. I came like this, nothing. So if I did it, so can you. Thank you for being here today. This is just a quick video um, to talk to you about a couple of things, a couple of updates that are going on. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed my last video of the Wilson Audio Chronosonic XVX. That video has done amazing. In case you haven't seen that video, check out the link on the description below. Today is Sunday, it's in the middle of the day. I have a lot of family activities planned for today, so there isn't really any music to be played or anything like that. Right now, the system, as you can see, I have the Boulder models, the 3050s. I have the Boulder 866. And of course, as usual, we have the Select 2 MSB deck, which, by the way, um, I will be hopefully for the first time actually, trying the new esoteric N01XD. I'm looking at it right here. That's a streamer, that's $20,000, okay? If you're wondering why am I trying a $20,000 esoteric N01XD streamer when I own a $120,000 Select 2 from MSB, $120,000 DAC that is. Well, that is because with these speakers, I want to try an immense amount of components. Different sources at different price points, 20000 50000 I'm actually thinking about the Lampensator Horizon. I'm thinking about the new D DCS Apex um, DACs that are getting great reviews. I'm thinking about all sorts of sources. Obviously, as you know, as you can see on my screen right now, I do have my Kronos turntable. So... I want to put a lot of sources through these speakers, and not only that, I also want to try different levels of amplification. Just for your own knowledge, I am trying the 866 integrated with the built-in DAC from Boulder, and that's plugged into my 5000 Strong Tank unit, okay, and I'm using my power cords from my cable line, Authentic Audio Image which is really the only cable line that I am going to be trying with my loudspeakers. Yes, I still have transparent Opus. I do. They're on the sidelines. Okay, so at some point, I will unpack my transparent speaker cables, all six power cords, the interconnects, and of course, dress the system with these cables, which are very expensive cables. But as we know, we all know that Wilson typically goes quite well with transparent cables but i will say this for those of you who have wilson audio speakers i love what my cables do i love my cable line and you will hear it believe me you are going to hear it because the proof is in the pudding and i understand for you guys you guys want to hear although okay you shouldn't be making life decisions based on youtube videos music videos from multiple systems that you typically see um, displayed, okay? But you should have a, an idea, an approximation of what changes when we change components, okay? I have a Constellation Taurus stereo amplifier that I was recently playing with these speakers, and uh, I, because it is a stereo amplifier, I went ahead and placed it on this side of the room on top of my 3050. And I grabbed a short speaker cable to connect it here. And then I, grab, I grabbed a long speaker cable to connect it to the speaker, right? So, for the first time in my life, I never heard this before, okay? Swear to you, never heard this through any speaker. First time ever, I hear what happens to the presentation when you use one long speaker cable on one side of the amplifier, stereo amplifier, and a shorter run for the other amplifier that's for the other speaker that's closer to the amplifier. 
And you know what happened? The vocals are typically right about here when I play music. They're literally right here on my chest. Okay, so look at the speakers. This is where the vocals are every time when I play music. So when I did that, the side that was connected with the shorter speaker cable, the vocals were right here. Right here. That's where the vocals were. That's where you heard. So what I did was, well, maybe I'm crazy. Let me rotate speaker cables. So I moved the amplifier to this side, placed it here. And now this speaker was being connected with the short speaker cable. And that one was connected with the longer speaker cable, right? And now the vocals moved here, slightly here. I have never, ever, guys, ever experienced that before, ever. That's the sheer transparency that this speaker has, okay? And so that in itself gave me so much motivation to try a ton of things, a ton of things that I have never, ever wanted to try from outlets, which I have done in the past, but now this is going to highlight the changes in the, in the presentation. So I want to do outlets. I want to do, I mean, I want to even try like different power cord lengths. I mean, I just want to go nuts with it. I, and I want to see what happens to the sound. Can we hear a difference? Some of you guys may say, well, this is a ridiculous purchase, Jay. I mean, this is not something that the average Joe of, can afford. I get that. I totally understand that. Okay. But the reason why I purchased it is because, first of all, it's the very first speaker that I ever buy at this price point. So I am swimming in waters that are really, really high up there. And I want to experience firsthand what does it feel to be in first class, right? First class as opposed to coach or economy or, you know, business. That's what I want to do. I want to experience first class. I want to know what that feels like. Is it the same feeling as those that are sitting behind me? Really nothing different, just a prettier seat with more cushion? That's what I want to see for myself, right? I want to see if the flight, flight attendants treat, treat me differently because I'm in first class as opposed to everybody else who's behind. So buying this speaker will allow me to basically expand on that highlight to you all and tell you, is this the same as a Wilson Audio Sasha DAW, which you recently saw here? Is it the same, just larger? Is that what I'm paying for? Or does this do things that the Sasha DAW or the Alexia or even the Alex just didn't deliver, didn't do? So that's what I'm about right now. I'm trying to figure out first, what do you get when you get to this point? Besides, of course, yes, the massive bill that you have to pay. Is there anything else that comes when you buy something like this, am I getting a better reviewing tool to articulate to you guys what happens when we make certain changes to the system? At a high level, I can tell you that this is a huge magnifying glass, okay? Very big. So now it's a lot easier for me to hear changes because it's just a bigger microscope. I, I can actually get closer to what's happening. I don't have to cringe, close my eyes, turn the AC off, turn my, uh, close my door, uh, you know, turn my phone off and all of that and concentrate to see if anything changed. I don't have to do that with this. You can either hear it or you don't hear it. Okay. So I would love to come back to you guys and let you know if indeed, you know what, guys, it's not worth it to go this high because it really is the same thing. Um, no different, you know, it's just for a larger room, right? I would love to come back with that feedback if that's indeed the case or come back and tell you, no, there's a lot more that this does. And so maybe at some point I buy another Wilson Audio speaker to actually do an AMB comparison of the smaller sibling in here with this and just kind of take notes and figure out what am I getting in this room that this speaker is delivering that the smaller sibling does not do. And that's how we're going to open up conversations so that when you guys are ready to take that next step, when it comes to your next loudspeaker, right? Let's say you are right now with a certain brand that is MSRP in for 30 grand and you're looking to buy the $60,000 version. You can utilize what I'm about to do as basically guidelines to let you know what do you get when you go up? Do you really only get more of the same sound or are more things happening that the smaller speakers simply cannot deliver? Now, I understand some of you guys have said my room is, you know, Jay, your room is too short. I disagree, guys. I have about from the top of the speaker right here to the ceiling, 
you guys probably cannot see it, but I have about uh, two and a half, three feet. Yeah, about two, two and a half feet, more or less, okay? So that's plenty for the speaker. And if you're wondering how much space from the inside of the speaker to the sides, I have about four feet, okay? It's hard to tell because of the video camera, but I have enough space. And believe it or not, this speaker is indeed a lot more, more manageable than the Wilson Audio XLF that I had in here that you guys saw in the past. So it's not too difficult to, to maneuver the speaker. The only pain point, the only complaint I have, guys, it is heavy as hell. I am telling you, even me, I have to hug it and like literally do this. Like if I'm hugging a tree trunk and I'm trying to basically pull it out. You know, so that is that is really the biggest pain, pain point right now. The speaker, they are still on casters. I don't have the final spot. There's no point in putting the um, acoustic diodes that they include with the, with the speaker because I still don't know where they're going to end. I have con contacted Wilson Audio if you're wondering about uh, the potential opportunity to have them help me set up. They have a guy that is an expert with this speaker, so... Yes, maybe at some point I'll have someone come in here and do it right better than I can. But what I will do is I will try to work it by myself first and then mark the floor where I think it sounds best to my ears. So that way when they do come out, hopefully they do come out, I'll let them do what they want as far as movement. I already have my spot marked. I know the settings on the speaker myself. I'll write them all down and then I'll listen to what they did and compared to what I did, and I think that's gonna be a great learning experience for me too, because I'll get to see firsthand what Wilson Audio does when it comes to loudspeaker setup. Now, I've done a lot of Wilson Audio speakers in the past. This is, by the way, my 10th Wilson Audio speaker, and I know some of you guys are very critical about, oh my God, Jay, another Wilson. You told us you would never do this again. I'm sick of Wilson. Guys, I understand that, but keep in mind, okay? Keep in mind one thing, okay? Um, I said that I was done, but if you look back at the video, I said that does not mean you won't see another Magical or another Wilson speaker in the future, an occasional speaker that might show up. I did say that, and you can refer back to the video, and that's kind of what's happening with these three brands. So in 2023... Although I'm not going to say that you won't see a magical speaker again or you won't see a Wilson audio again. That's not going to, because, you know, obviously my journey changes. And so at one point, maybe someone may send me a, a speaker that want to trade into me for something I may have here. So, yeah, you may see a, a Wilson audio speaker pop up again, which I already said the Sasha will be here. Um, and uh, or maybe another magical. OK, because you guys were commentating on that and I don't think you guys paid attention to what I said in the past okay I did articulate that and so this opportunity came to me I jumped on the opportunity because let's face it guys okay how many of these speakers are do you think you're going to see out and about not many guys okay not many and I wanted for the first time to live with a speaker of this caliber because at the end of the day guess what it only elevates my knowledge with this brand i get to learn something that i can say i'm proud of owning okay and although i know i know for a lot of you guys okay you're not a wilson lover i get i get that guys i understand that it's not for everybody when i had magical a lot of you guys would complain about magical when i had focal a lot of complaints will come would come so i cannot please everybody Okay, it's impossible to police the whole world. So when you make comments underneath, keep that in mind, folks. Okay, the speaker that you may want to see may not be the speaker the next folk that's commenting right under you wants to see. So no matter what I do, I'm never going to make the whole world happy. Regardless of what speaker I bring in here, if I brought Sonos Faber Aida, it would have been another bunch of complainers saying, oh, it's too soft. Bring me back a Wilson. Bring me back a Magical. Bring... That's nature, guys. So don't attack me per se, because at the end of the day, read the comments underneath and you'll see, okay? There is colors and flavors for everyone, okay? So if you really wanted to know why, I just articulated it to you. Opportunity came, um, and the fact that I did say 
it's not going to be my last one and it probably won't be the last magical and it probably won't be the last focal okay i do and i was by the way in case you most know i was talking to other brands other brands other speaker brands that i wanted to put at my floor i did but i had already committed to the xvx's okay i already had it and to be sincere with you i was very thrilled and i'm still thrilled to bring this level of performance in my room okay because whether you hate whether you dislike whether you have your own opinion about the speaker or not one thing we can agree on okay let's agree on one thing okay it is a special speaker no matter who you are no matter what your preference is when it comes to loudspeakers which i respect i must say that i respect whatever you guys like as far as loudspeakers but let's be honest with each other this is a special speaker nobody can argue that right even if you're a wilson hater you can agree and raise your hand and say yeah i mean it is a special speaker i can't deny that okay for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars it better be that's all i'm saying so i wanted a special loudspeaker in here this speaker is a special loudspeaker it's a speaker that you know you probably will never see and by the way this is only the second time ever that I see this speaker. First time I saw it was at a store. I never saw it again at any show. Second time is right now, me owning it. So it is a very, very hard speaker to come by. And I was just thrilled to do it. Look, I was contemplating MBL. I was contemplating TAD, TAD loudspeakers. I was contemplating Sonos Faber Aida. I was contemplating, contemplating Rockport. I was contemplating a lot of different speakers. I really was, guys. But the stars align for this masterpiece of a speaker. And yeah, I'm pretty pumped to share this with you guys, okay? Um, lastly, one, some of you guys are very, very harsh on the comment section, okay? Very harsh with me. I don't know why the hate um because at the end of the day folks i am trying to share an experience through youtube that you probably won't find anybody else sharing with you when i throw numbers at you for instance when i articulate it you're looking at a, at a one million dollar system behind me let me just say why i say numbers for those of you, because some feedback has come back to me, okay? In case you do not know. Let me explain why I throw numbers at you, okay? So that you understand. When numbers are thrown at you, and I put them on the subject line, and I put them anywhere, okay, on the video, it draws attention. It draws eyes to the channel. The YouTube algorithm begins to work its magic even better for me, so that I can gain more traction okay if you see a video of a 10 million dollar car what is the first reaction that you have wow 10 million dollar car let me click on that let me see what that is right because the number that they're talking about draws eyes to the video so that's the primary reason if you must know why i articulate numbers okay now that you understand how youtube works in case you do not have a youtube channel now you understand why okay it's got nothing to do with bragging it's got nothing to do with any of that i already said it i was not born into money i wasn't i have worked hard for 13 years day in day out multiple jobs right now i am working multiple jobs if you must know right now with these speakers right so I'm just a hustler, a hard worker, and if you most know, I wasn't even born in the United States. I came with, here, empty pockets. I came like this, nothing. So if I did it, so can you. And maybe this is a form of an inspiration for a lot of you guys out there, so that you can see what I have done, working my butt off. If I did it, so can you. I'm nobody special. But I am a hard worker. I don't stop. Okay. And if you have that determination, the dividends will manifest themselves in whichever form you want them to. So don't think that I am a spoiled brat. Don't think that I am somebody that was born into money, folks. I wasn't. I ate rice and beans, if you must know. Okay. So yes, I did all of that. As a matter of fact, I still do because I like it. So, you know, don't think for a minute that 
I was just simply, my, my parents are doctors or, or, or just surgeons or neither of that, guys. My parents don't even have a college degree. Think about that. I do, but they don't. I'm just a determined person willing to work hard. And I believe in this country, in the United States of America, if you work hard at what you want, you can get whatever you want. I'm living proof of that. And I'm just proud to share that with you and articulate that so that some of you guys out there who are going through hardship, difficult times, divorces, uh, financial situations, like just problems, okay? Maybe I can inspire you somehow, somehow. And if I can, re if I can reach out and touch you and give you the strength to wake up tomorrow and work your butt off to accomplish whatever it is that you're after, I've done my job. Okay, and I'm doing this through audio. That's all I got for today, guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I will continue to bring you more updated content. And please do not forget to check out my website, jaysaudiolab.com, where I have already given you all more content behind the scenes with regards to these speakers, as well as the latest situation with my Boulder 3050 models. Take care. And I will speak to you soon. Peace.